Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel and this is very suitable all falling down on me. Because this is going to be a bit of a weird one for my channel guys. This is going to be quite a dark uh, <laughs> video. Uh, not the actual gameplay guys. Um, that's going to be quite a, a fun bloody platformer by Namco guys. Um, fantastic bloody Namco. But there's a weird story behind this one, guys. Um, what you want to do is is uh, jump off this video, guys. Linked below is the fantastic channel, that chapter, guys, with Mike. Uh, brilliant, brilliant channel, guys. As you all know, I love true crime. Um, and he is one of my favourite channels. He is fantastic. Mike is brilliant. But you might want to jump on there first. Watch that video and then come back. Um, I will also link what is going to be the notorious Tumblr account as well, guys. Um, I'll link that below as well. So if you want to check that out after watching this video, guys, it's up to you. But definitely, guys, take my suggestion. Head over to Mike's channel first and watch this video that is linked below, guys. Because what we're going to talk about, guys, is a, a character that was created back in the early 1950s uh, called Gumby. Now, Gumby was a clay animation. It's been films, it's been TV shows, oh, there's been tons of merchandise and what have you. Lots and lots of things to do with Gumby. And there's been toys produced, or oh, just you name it, guys. And it's basically this long green piece of i don't know what what you want to call it i mean they call it, it gum so i can only imagine you know um that it's kind of like the strips of gelatine that you get um you know you get all the different colors green and what have you and uh, yeah i can only imagine it's aiming towards that and then he's got this other cast of characters with him as well uh all sorts of different characters like the horse in that picture just now um yeah i tell you what right Hopefully you did as I said, guys, um, and you went and watched Mike's video about it, uh, that chapter's video, um, because then you know exactly where this is heading, guys. Very, very dark. You, you're going to look at this game completely differently now than you would have done if you hadn't have watched Mike's video first. Very strange blog, guys, um, account, whatever, on Tumblr. Um, in the video of the gameplay, I actually say Reddit more um, than anything else because there is weird things on Reddit as well. But uh, no, mainly, guys, it's on Tumblr. And as I said, I'm going to link that account below. How some very weird stuff's going on there, guys. Cult-like, where they worship Gumby. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, it could all be big, one big fat freaking piss take. Um, and somebody's just winding everybody up as usual. But... It makes you think just how sinister this could be. And then, of course, uh, I'm not going to link it below, guys. Um, you, can, you, you can find that for yourself, the YouTube channel that's been created around Gumby as well, with some very dark uh, videos there, because I'm not even too sure if, if the YouTube channel's still there, so it's up to you to have a look for that, because Mike doesn't link it in his video, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, this is very, very weird. I mean, just looking at it as a game, guys, by Namco, from 2005 it is fantastic it's a brilliant platformer i love the different elements in it it is gumby versus the astrobots um what a beautiful bloody game it really is with a very weird character see this is the thing guys it was already very bloody weird as it was even way back in the 50s when it was first created as a clay animation uh, tv show movies and what have you um yeah, very, very strange looking um, characters, all of them, really. Not just Gumby. He's quite sinister looking already, in a way, really, anyway. Um, of course, it doesn't help <laughs> that I've watched, you know, this video, guys, by the, by um, by Mike. Um, but, yeah, you really are going to need to watch that video first if you haven't, guys. Um, because then this won't make any bloody sense to you at all. This is going to be looking at a platformer. But you're going to look at it in a very different light if you have watched that video first, guys. So, yes, please join me as we jump onto the fabulous Game Boy Advance for this one, guys, because that's what Namco released it onto. 
um, onto the Game Boy Advance. Of course, they came innocently along and released a game for a very, very popular franchise. Beloved by adults and children, as I said, it started in the 50s. It's American. Uh, American TV show, American movies, American uh, concept altogether, guys. It's very, very American. You would have thought it would be Japanese, wouldn't you, with all the weirdness surrounding it? But it's not. It's American through and through, guys. But, yeah. Oh. You, you're certainly going to have your mind blown by this one, guys, by the end of it. If you've watched that, that chapter first. You need to do that. You really do need to do that, guys. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic video that he does. And he's so funny. His channel is fabulous. Uh, I'm sure you're going to end up dropping him a sub because all these videos are like it, guys. They're fantastic. If you love true crime, if you love weirdness, oh, his channel is probably one of the best on YouTube. Right. Okay, guys. Well, now we're going to jump onto, the, onto this very surreal game, in my opinion, now. I wouldn't have thought like that before, but um, I certainly do now, guys. And I'm sure you will. If you watched the suggested video below by Mike and that chapter. Right, back in a sec, guys, as we take a look at this. Well, it's actually a fantastic game. Back in a sec. Here we go, guys, into the weird world of Gumby versus the Astrobots. This Namco classic, really. But, um, yeah, with that weird story attached to it nowadays, guys, you, you can't really look at it the same way anymore. Let's listen to the music for a minute. Shall we? As you can see guys, you've got start, new, load, options, and at the bottom there, left, press A to select. So yeah, let's go for a new game. Anyone will do. That'll do, thank you very much. Yeah. Now obviously it's me, so we're going to go for easy. Um, you can't help but feel a bit uneasy when you play this game these days. It's weird guys, when you've been watching true crime and uh, weird and wonderful stuff for years on the internet guys, and you, you realise that this has started off some freaky cult thing, where they worship this Gumby. It's just weird guys, but you know, bear that in mind while you, while you watch this video, and um, very unnerving really. Here we go, let's go to easy. Obviously, if you need longer to read, guys, pause is your best friend. All the characters are weird. <laughs> He's literally a bit of, uh, yeah, some kind of gum of some sort, I suppose. He looks more like a bloody, uh, I don't know, some kind of vegetable. I don't know, I'm very, very odd.
Oh dear, no turn nasty. That's alright, you can always get your uh, your web culty followers to sort them out. Gumby. So yeah, that's the idea guys, you go into all these different books and it takes you to uh, different worlds if you like, different yeah, countries or whatever you want to, wherever you want to go basically. Obviously you can go up here guys, but we're going to go there first, but I'll show you uh, if you get onto the elevator. It takes you to like this one here. Obviously you can go, oh, he says, Again, bashing into the old lift there. You can obviously go to the African Safari. And you can go up here, guys. Oh, he says trying to go up there, but you can't. No, he won't take you up there, I don't think, at the moment, will it? Or was I just getting stuck? I was just getting stuck, guys. Yeah, there we go, another one. And the Magic Castle. Well, there we go. Wow. So yeah, we're going straight into the Western book, of course. Yep, that'll do fine. So uh, yes, guys, just <laughs> just remember that weird backstory I gave you about this very, very freaky thing that's happened with this uh, video game character, guys. What a surreal and weird thing. It's even been linked to, uh, yeah, some very strange... Um, almost like um, crime guys, you know, like as in the M word and think, oh, it's, it's just freaky guys. It's very, very strange. A lot of, uh, obviously, armchair detectives are trying to find out what the hell is all behind it. Um, but yeah, as far as they're aware, it's some kind of weird cult, as I said. Right, well, let's get on with the game, shall we? <laughs> it's just too surreal for words. It's sure dry and dusty. Mm, and it just couldn't be. Right. So here we go, guys. Press the A button to jump. Yeah. There we go. Well, we'll see. These are a kind of tra yeah, trampoline. There you go, guys. And you can reach higher places. You can also move them as well. Yeah. On the ground. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go like this. Obviously, you couldn't jump up there unless you have a trampoline. So there we go, like that. Right, at the moment, you just jump on their heads. Yeah. So wait for them to come, and then there we go. Whoa, he says. Missed it completely. There we go. The more you jump on it, the more it dies, if you like. Otherwise, you just stun it if you only jump on it once. There we go. And again. Hey, nice one. Oh, here we go again. Let's move it. Now you go to where the stone is, you can't get past that stone. There you go guys, you can collect as much ice cream as you can. Brilliant. And some candy. Green lollipop. Gives you special powers. And then you can morph into this. Yay, which gets you into areas that you can't reach otherwise. Then you just go back to Gumby, but you can, of course, do that as well. And here he says, can't jump as high when you're him. So uh, we'll get back to him. Let's see if we can get that. Can we get it? No. No, we can't get it. Okay. I thought maybe we could. Wait for him to clear off. Yeah, and then again. Bye bye, Mr. Robot. Yeah. It's actually a really, really fun game. If only you can just get away from that horrible um, story that's developed around it. You know, the horrible <laughs> weirdness around it, basically. There we go, I can have that now because I've lost some life. Yeah, it's all a bit, all a bit weird, man. guys. It really, really is weird. You can go up here if you wanted to, but we need to move it actually. 
Let's uh, try and go down the side of it. Stop it. Stop it, Bumby, stop it. Right, he's just going to keep going. I'm going to trap him now so we can get him. Wicked. We've got those ice creams as well. Brilliant. There's some ice creams there, never mind. See, they come back as well, guys, so be careful. Right, so you can look up or down. So you can go down like that, and you can see there's lots of ice creams there. You can look up as well, nothing there. We've got that. Now we need to be a ball to get them. Back up again. There we go. And we reached the first flag. Wicked. They represent checkpoints. So yeah, they certainly do. Right, here we go, guys. This is where you're going to have to start going on platforms and things and try and still get the ice creams if possible. If you're like me, you probably won't. Will I get it? Oh, yes, I did. Wow, brilliant. So, yeah. Oh, look down there, guys. There's... No, I couldn't get it. Oh, well, never mind. There we go. We're going to have to go back now, of course. Have to wait for it to do that. Ah, Bumby, get back. That's it. There we go. Isn't it a fun game? Just, like I said, get over all that backstory, guys. Uh, obviously, if you want to look more into this, the best place is Reddit, because there's a hell of a lot about it on there. There's also YouTube videos from some of the true crime people. Um, about this whole situation with this game, guys, and the weirdness of it, and whether it's even bloody true or not, but there seems to be quite a lot of um, posts on Reddit over the whole thing, and uh, yeah, the surrealness of it all, and it seems to be more than one person, that's for sure, who's uh, obsessing over this character, worshipping this character. You know, it's easy to say it probably all just started as a joke, but who knows? The world is a weird and wonderful place. Not that that is wonderful, but you know what I mean. Right, okay, you little sod. Right, okay, we'll go this way first and then not. Do not fall down those holes, guys, because you die. You will die. Right, so jump over them as best you can. That's it. Collect those bloody ice creams, that's for sure. Hey, at least we've got some pie. Give ourselves some life back. Oh, we can't go any further than that, no? There we go, we've got them. Let's get in. Oh, there's another one there, look. So we've got that. Can we get it? Yes, we've got it. Good. Oh, look at him, look. Sod. Mm-hmm. Wicked. Here comes another one. Just don't fall down that hole. And it shows you, look. Skull and crossbow. Crossbones, even crossbow. Oh, yeah, it's Robin Hood. Um, you know what I mean. Skull and crossbow, cross bones. Right, there we go. What a fool. Come on, what do you get? Hey, you can get those now, wicked. A little piece of pie again, nice one. Ah, so you nearly fell down it, guys. Ah, you can't go any further. Wicked. Okay. Right, in that case, we need to go down, don't we? Oh, you bugger, get off me. Where do you go, you sod? Hmm. Can we go anywhere here? No, we can't. Oh, dear. What is going on here, then? Hmm. Seems to be a bit uh, weird. But you couldn't get any further there. Hmm. 
Yeah, very odd. But you know what guys, we're getting into a 15 minute video, so I think that's, we're going to leave it there guys, because obviously this shows you exactly what this game is like, and as I said, wanted to look at it guys, mainly because of that weird story. How bloody strange is that? That around this character guys, that has developed. Very, very strange. For sure. Yeah. There we go guys, that's Gumby. Obviously, you know, we can't look at all the levels if you want to do that. Then obviously you need to pick a copy of this up. Um, quite a hard one to track down, you just don't find it in, you know, out there really. Um, very often at all. Um, I think it's probably because of the story around it, it's given people more interest in this game. Maybe even people who wouldn't normally be collecting games are interested in this because of this story that's attached to it now it's a weird cult thing yeah very very odd guys very very odd right okay let's put him back up and we'll wrap this up guys obviously if you want me to do a more in-depth video of this game I, i'm willing to do it but this was more to show you this very surreal game guys and literally a piece of gum because that's what he looks like, doesn't he? He looks like the gum that you, uh, gelatine, um, that you use, uh, you know, in making uh, jellies. Um, very strange. You get strips of it, you can get it green, yellow, and what have you. That's what he looks like. Um, so, yes, guys, I can do a bit more of an in-depth video if you'd like me to. But this was to highlight this most peculiar of games, guys. That was peculiar already, um, just in its concept. Very, very fun, fantastic game, brilliant platformer. But then that surrealness that surrounds it now, guys. Oh my God, is this weird. So yeah, guys, back with my final thoughts. I thought I'd add the smoke for the spooky effect. Like a dragon. That's a bit odd, isn't it? I mean, it's a fantastic game. I'm sure you can say that. It is a brilliant platformer, guys, with a very weird looking character, for sure. And um, the idea of going into the different books and what have you, I love that. I think that's fantastic. And as I said in the in the uh, play on, guys, that I will do a more in depth uh, look at this game if you want me to look at other uh, books on the shelf, if you like. Um, but yeah, what a weird thing that's come from this, guys, isn't it? I mean, it's not around this game necessarily. It's around the whole bloody franchise of Gumby, isn't it? The whole concept of it um, has developed into something very surreal. As I said earlier, it could be just a big fat Mickey take. It really could. It could just be a pile of steaming horse shite. But it still makes you think, are these people bloody for real? Are they that obsessed with Gumby, guys? What's all that about? Removing skin. Oh, seriously. And then those videos. Well, I've watched both those videos and they do your freaking head in. Very, very surreal, guys. Very surreal. Even if it is just a big fat joke, it still unnerves the crap out of you. Because there's somebody very twisted out there to even come up with the idea, even if it is a big fat joke. But yeah, I'll let you make your minds up about that one, guys. Um, so yeah, this was a very different video, guys. Very different. I mean, we still looked at a fantastic bloody game by Namco, guys, from the early 2000s. And it is an awesome bloody game. It really, really is. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But what a weird backstory, guys. Um, mm, very, very peculiar. That's all I can say. And anyway, I would love to... Uh, <laughs> To just say again, guys, that chapter, one of the best YouTube channels in existence. Mike is hilarious. I could listen to his voice for hours. I love the Irish accent at the best of times. Um, and he is so funny. He's so funny. He has literally had me splitting my sides in the past with some of his, <laughs> with some of his comments and things he comes out with, guys. He's so funny. He really is. So yeah, you do yourselves a favour, guys, and check him out anyway. Check out his other videos. He's got tons on there, guys, tons. And I'm sure most of you have probably heard of him already because he's extremely popular. Um, but yeah, head over there, guys, and check him out. And I hope you checked out the Gumby video before you watch this video. Um, because, yeah, 
it will certainly uh, make you look at this bloody game differently that's for sure anyway guys i'm gonna love you and leave you now guys and i'm gonna go and cry myself to sleep over gumby coming to get me in the middle of the night while i'm dreaming oh a bit like a gumby freddy krueger i'm gonna say the usuals if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a thumbs up obviously tap that bell icon to get your notifications and the all icon to make doubly sure and with that I'm going to say, I'll be the Cheers and goodbye, guys. I'll see you in the next one, if I've still got my skin. <laughs>